Hi, in this video we're going to go over graph transformations. Uh, I want you to look at each one of these six graphs, try to figure out what they all have in common. I even wrote down what the, the function is, um, but hopefully you can see what they all have in common. Can you see it? They all have an x squared, or basically something squared, right? x squared, x squared minus 2, x plus 3 squared, 1 third x squared, and you, negative x squared, and again, you have something squared. So what I would call the x squared is, I would call that a basic function. Because each one of these is built off of that same basic function x squared. So here is our basic function, and then the following five graphs are all called transformations from this basic function. So I want to go over the the different types of transformations we have. We're only going to focus on x squared because it will be the same for any basic function. Um, but it's, I think it's just easier to look at x squared because it's a function we all are very familiar with. Let's begin with horizontal transformations. So we have a function, f of x. I'm going to call it a basic function, for example, x squared. Uh, then y equals f of x plus k. Now, x plus k is inside f, so it's kind of like a composition of functions. It's a horizontal transformation where we have the following two things happen. If k is greater than 0, shift f of x, k units to the left. So let's take a look at a quick example. So here's our basic function. We have f of x equals x squared. Now I want to do a shift to the left. So let's try graphing y equals, let's do x. Now k has to be positive, so let's do x plus um, 3 squared. So you match this up. Notice that the 3 here, that's k, and k is positive because 3 is positive. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to take my basic graph and I'm going to shift 3 to the left. So everything gets moved three places to the left. So this origin point right here is now three pieces to the left. So one, three places to the left. So one, two, three. All right, we have the point one, one. All right, so I'm going to move that left three. So one, two, three. I have the point two, four. So now moves left three. So one, two, three. Okay. Uh, we have the point negative one, one. So move that left three, one, two, three, and so on. I think you can see what's happening here. Uh, and it's going to look something like this. If I drew a little better, but that's the idea. Uh, notice that it, it is my graph, x squared, and it's just been moved three places to the left. OK, next. So now this is actually step two, or part two. If k is less than 0, meaning it's negative, shift your function k units to the right. Okay, So again, let's take our basic function, f of x equals x squared. And let's go ahead and try graphing uh, y equals x minus, I don't know, let's do, I just, I guess, x minus 1 squared. So notice that the k, which is right here, it's negative 1, is negative, so it is going to be a horizontal shift to the right. So here's my basic function, and just move everything to the right one unit. So I'm going to have, this is my new kind of new origin, this moves right there. Uh, so everything else moves one over. So this moves here, and then 2 comma 4 now moves right here to 3 comma 4. All right, so then that's that part. Uh, and then again, everything else is moving to the right. So this piece right here moves here. Um, negative 2, 4 is now negative 1, 4. So just finish off graphing. There's my parabola moved one unit to the right. 